crumble, crash, I mean, you name it, you know. Or right along with the economy as well, too. Not so good, crash, you know. But I'm gonna read the news article. It says stocks fell in a volatile trading Wednesday after the Federal Reserve raised, raised uh, rates by three quarters of a point. Right, because at first I believe they was gonna raise it from uh, 0.75%, but I think it's like a new raise now. So they had to either raise up a little bit so the federal tax hike increases as well too. After that little two day meeting on Monday and Tuesday, following into Wednesday now. And I'm reading again for edification sake of this lesson. It says the stock fell in a volatile trading Wednesday at the Federal Reserve raise uh, rates by three quarters of a point and forecast more sizable rate hikes in its fight against inflation. Actions widely expected by traders. While the S&P 500 down more than 8% in the past month and 18% for 2022 heading into Wednesday, as Fed's action stocks were already pricing in an aggressive tightening campaign by the feds that it could push the economy into a recession. It says the Dow Jones Industrial Average last 294 points lower or 0.9% after being up much as 312, I mean 314 points. The S&P 500 dipped 500. 0.7% and the NASDAQ composite traded 0.7% lower. The stocks were volatile as traders parsed through the rate decision. In the latest comments from Jeremy Powell of press conference, the federal race, I mean the Fed raised hype by widely expected 75 base points and said it expected its so-called terminal rate to reach 4.6 to fight persistently high U.S. inflation. That the rate as which the central banks will end its tightening regime. The central bank also indicated that its plans to stay aggressive of heightening the rates to 4.4 by next year. You can only steer the ship towards the storm for so long, but eventually there come a time where you need to batter, batter down the hatchet with the Fed's third consistent 75 base point rate high over the past four months. Market participation should be looking for cover to weather the upcoming storm, said Charlie Ripley, a senior investment strategist at Alliance Investment Management. The Treasury yields popped on the news, the two-year rate which hit the highest level since 20, 2007, last traded at 4.1%, the 10-year rate jumped about 3.6%. All major S&P factors finished sessions in a neg negative territory, led to the downside by the consumer discretionary communication service and growth-focused companies, travel, and entertainment stocks also took a hit along with beating up big technology stocks, Apple, Amazon, and Meta platforms. So yeah, another clear example of modern day Babylon is definitely falling again. As they say, the economy is reaching further and further and further more into a potential recession as they continue to battle the uh, high inflation in the United States, the continual increase of consumer spending, the continual increase of everything that's constantly consistently going up. 
the uh, not so good housing market, the mortgages continue on, keep on going throughout the roof, people paying rent throughout the roof, uh, paying uh, food, continue to go up on the roof, everything that's being taxed increasingly throughout the roof now more than ever, even though the gas productions, oil prices, and inflation have been down a little bit, but it's still it's gonna skyrocket right back up as we're entering the months of fall and winter as well too. So expect to see a continual up and down balance slope of the uh, stock market, the Dow Jones, uh, the S&P 500, and the Nasdaq Composite as well too. Gonna continue to have some good days, and a lot of them is gonna crash and have a lot of bad days as well too. So that shows you more continuing clear signs of modern day Babylon is falling on an economic scale, you know. And this trend is definitely going to continue, you know. So with that, you know, I just wanted to bring out this news article of the Dow Jones crash once again due to the fact the inflation increasing as the Federal Reserve have their little two-day meeting on Monday and Tuesday as they enter in Wednesday shows you another clear sign that the markets crashed again as they continue to uh, aggressively rate, uh, raise up the interest rates on the base points of uh, 75% for the fourth consecutive straight month as they continue to tackle the inflation as which is going to continue to go up gas is going to continue to go up even though you've seen both declines on both of them for the past few months but expect to see the inflation and gas product is going to go back up cost of living etc you name it you know so with that once again i hope this is uh in the news on september the 21st 2022 at 3 20 p.m central standard time hope this was edifying to the audience out there through the spirit power grace and mercy every how why you have a shot and first and foremost I would like to give all praises and glory and honor to take a have a shim, yeah have a shim, ba shim, Double honors to the elders and apostles of Prairie Millstone. Preach the word truth and sincerely. And shalom to Akim, scattered to the four corners of the globe. Uh, preach the word truth and sincerely. And shalom to the Akim, that be like unto the speckled bird. Preach the word truth and sincerely. And until next time, I will say shalom and a ball, ball, ball.